Let's see. We have the phone, the keys, the money. <laughs> Your butt. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you do that all the time. Why should I be concerned? <laughs> on the blooper reel folks and now our feature presentation Welcome one of all tonight, 476 of SNR. Oh, God. Yeah. It's 476. Right here. Right now, baby. I am being. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm being joined by Eugene, Allen, and Chap. <laughs> but before we get to the lineups, let's wish a very good happy birthday to Conan O'Brien, the current host of his late night talk show. <whistles> and a very good happy birthday to the current voice actor of DuckTales and Doctor Who, David Tennant. <laughs> oh yeah. Happy birthday indeed. <coughs> so, tonight's episode is going to be fun, it's going to be great. No problems. Oh boy. Oh boy. Last test the other computer. There we go. Am I not plugged? Okay. I am plugged in. <laughs> okay. I was guessing my other computer wasn't plugged in. But I got it to go. Like I said, no problems whatsoever. Wait, the episode. So tonight's episode, we're going to be focusing on 476. Why? Because we're going to be 24 episodes to go. Until we hit another milestone. So, tonight, we're going to do game, game three of the second, uh, second one, no, game three of Wheel of Fortune second edition for the PC, <coughs> then, we are in week number six in our Rewind the Time series as I am going to tackle both Segas, the 32X, and a Sega Saturn. Star Wars Arcade for the Sega 32X. One of the three original lineups for the Sega 32X when it was released. 
So we're gonna play at the uh, a hit wonder of a game. Then, I'm going to tackle one of the puzzle game on a Sega Saturn called Mist. So let's see how this one goes. So that's all of that. Now, the lineup. Not the lineup, the... <laughs> and now again, the lineup. Game 3, Rio Second Edition, Star Wars Arcade. Miss. There you go. And now, the word of the week. Did you just contradict yourself earlier? Yes, anyway. <clears throat> Your SNR word of the week is Camada. <laughs> Just takes one letter switch. For those of you who don't know, my legal first name is Cameron. And uh, I figured Camada. That would be the Commonwealth na Nation. The Commonwealth Nation, where Chap resides from. I'm not Canadian, by the way. You sure fooled me. <laughs> yes, thank you for that one. I am the only, I think I am the only one on this group is going to ball, because that's never been, been the first time I contradict myself. And I'm hoping that'll be the last. Wait, what'd you do? <laughs> what I said earlier. Oh. And out of the lineup. And then we did lineup, so oh we did we did the lineup. Now the lineup. Oh not the lineup. Oh wait, yeah, the lineup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, um, well, I mean, want to get this one out of the way. One of the celebrity discs was Howard Finkel, a longtime voice of Paul Wrestling. <laughs> A Sega one. Well, actually, it'd be Sega Night, a Night One. Um. Yeah, I'm doing Star Wars, uh, Star Wars Arcade Three Two X first, and then Mist for the Sega Saturn. <coughs> so this would be a Sega. The Night of the Living Segas again. Hmm. Playing one failed uh, add on. But now playing the next new console that causes the 32X to hurt gamers. What's the irony in that? Oh, the irony. So tonight's episode, I'm going to be tackling on both. And then if we're lucky, we'll be in the underground. And I think tonight's underground search is we're going to talk about what the heck we're going to do for the rest of our lives. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. But really, folks... Sit here in quarantine. <laughs> yes, please stay stay at home too, folks. Please. I'm still begging. 
unless your government officials say it's okay to go back out, so... Which means your government official's probably stupid if he does say. Whereas if yours is cautiously optimistic, it's better to stay safe than sorry. Mm -hmm. Again, hashtag stay, stay home. Safe. Yeah, stay safe, stay home. Well, unless if you're doing yard work, then there you go. Or if you have to get to a doctor's appointment or buy groceries. There you go. Always remind. Alright, anyways. When we come back, we've got Wheel. Second edition. Game 3. And I'll see how that one's gonna go when we come back. Hey! Welcome back to Astronaut right now. This is our third game one of Wheel of Fortune Second Edition for the PC. So far, in two games, we are at 70, $76,550. Cash and prices, not bad. Five rounds. Do I? Wait. Our ultimate adventure. Here we go. From the Sony Picture Studios, it's America's Game. If we can add on to our 76,000. This is our one. People. Showbiz. Okay, you get us going, player one. Here we go. $400. $400. Office. Winner dinner. Stop. Winner. 
You, you just said it. 900. $900. F. Yes, there are two Fs. $800. We have two Ns. Good. It's only eight hundred too. One C. Check off the end on eight hundred. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> eight again. Yes, the third time for eight hundred. Yes, there is box no office winner. There we go. Forty-nine eight hundred. Fifty-seven fifty. You did it. Terrific, player one. Terrific. I think that's 5750 if my math is correct. Let's see how you're doing after this round. You're hot today, player one. And I was right. 5750. Another round, another puzzle. Let's check it out. Oh, what is the prize? We've got a prize on the wheel this time, Charlie. Tell us about it. Project Japan. Come on in. The water's fine. Ooh, and there's the look swimming pool. Outdoor swimming pool. Worth yeah. nine thousand eight hundred dollars. Then yes, please. Oh, that's Let's a big one. Let's take a look at our category. Before and after. Before and after. <laughs> Did I get that? And you forget this the time, kind of player two goes first. Okay, here I go. Any other computer version? I'm gonna spin. There you go. I'd like an L, please, Vanna. One L. I'm gonna buy a vowel. An A? Yes, there's one A. I'd like to buy another vowel, please. Oh. An O. Uh huh. Two O's. I'd like to skip. Let's see that big one. Ooh, got out $900. I hope there's some S's. Just the one S. I'm gonna buy a vowel. E. I'll take an E. Just the one E. I'd like to buy another vowel. I don't think there is a U in the puzzle. I'd like a U, please, Vanna. Oh, there's gotta be three. Puzzle. Oh, I'd like to buy another vowel, please. Buy all the vowels. I'd like an I, please, Vanna. Oh, five are up yes, there. there is an I. Yes. And now you're out of vowels. In the wheel. Eight hundred dollars. I'll Just take an end, please, Vanna. We have two ends. Just uh. Let's give this baby a spin. Come on. Give me an R, Vanna. We have one R for you. I'm gonna spin. Come on. Come on. Yes, did.
dollars. We have two H's. I'll take a T, thank you. Yes, there are three T's. Push the panic button, your fly. That's the one. All right. Oh my go. God. Let's see how everybody's doing after this round. <laughs> Eleven thousand six fifty. Another round, another puzzle. Damn. Let's check it out. Oh, another play. It's time by for the, the way. jackpot round. Five thousand dollars and more for you. We've got a prize on the wheel this time, Charlie. Tell us about it. You can nip Jack Frost right Ooh, on the nose. Snowboard. With these fabulous his and her snowboards. Valued at two thousand one hundred fifty dollars. Well, for legally, there's nobody allowed to go snowboarding in Colorado. Category? Here it goes. Oh boy. Uh, artist song. This is a good category. Why do you guys see too often? Player three, you start us off this time. Okay, here I go. Because I'll spin that. Come on, show me the big money. Uh, Um, L. There's three. Good guess. There are three. Mainly because the older demographic have no I'd idea like if it's Ray please. or Ariana Grande or any Lady Gaga. He is in <laughs> Apple. Three. Yes, four altogether. Yeah. All right, here we go. I'd like to buy another vowel. I'd like an O, please. One O. I'd like to buy another vowel. Are there any E's? There are no E's. Sorry. <laughs> oh, why me? Cause you picked it, dumb skull. Ricky Martin. Living la vida loca. Sorry. Oh, not that one. 
Oh, yes, one. that one. Good luck. $450. Can do. 1M. Oh! Baby! See? We're solving. Two C's up there. We're solving it. It's the jackpot. Okay, if you can solve the puzzle right now, you win the jackpot amount. Ninety-one fifty. Ricky Martin's living life. Vida Loca. Booyah! Ninety-one fifty. Oh my! We haven't landed on the price, and we're killing this. Twenty-one thousand two fifty, all in cash. Okay, here comes the next we round. We hit the jackpot. We hit the jackpot. Field this time, Charlie. Tell us about it. <laughs> That's why I said booyah. Yeah. The water is fine in this deluxe permanent outdoor swimming pool. <laughs> it's worth nine thousand eight hundred dollars. Same thing as round two. Oh no. Let's see what our category is this time. On the map. Okay, start things off. Get us going, player one. We do have a swimming pool out back, but nobody ever really used it. I'm going to actually take a shot at this. Yeah, so probably not. Oh, Japan. I was thinking Boise, Idaho. Oh. It happened before. Oh my 
gone. Player one. I Over cannot two. believe that just happened. Yeah. Hi. Hang on. Six hundred dollars. We've got five T's in. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Hang on. You just said it exactly. Give me a moment to collect my thoughts to get my composure down a bit. Holy crap! When we come back, we're gonna finish this game up right after this. Welcome back. Oh my god. I still can't believe after what happened in round four. There's like, there's, there's like what? A few possibilities, and I picked the right one. One in five. I don't know how the odds was right there, and I'm. <coughs> you know what? The real, yeah, hey guys from Wheelmobile, if you're gonna be in Oregon, make sure be in Pendleton. Cause I would love to go on there. Oh, Portland, cause I would take the time off and go up there. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah, that that fitting puzzle chap, and that's one in five. And I solved it with no letters. One in five. That's gonna go down to the end of the year nominee. That's the end of the year awards nominee right there. That just happened. <laughs> oh my god. And yes, I'll make sure I'll get that clip to my the best of twenty twenty. It's, uh, it's what's it, what's fitting about the puzzle you just fell down on round round five was it? Round four. That, 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 no, no, round four was always the item puzzle. But yeah. Then after that, I mean, that's the fitting one. It's like you be able to collect my thoughts, and you have you do have to collect your thoughts. <laughs> yes. Yeah. One in five. And there was a few possibilities. Ah, oh, it's not deafened. There was a few possibilities. Hey, chap. There, there's like a few possibilities, and I went with the right one. What are the odds for that just happened? Oh my gosh. Like I said, I had to collect my thoughts. I had to get myself back on composure. Oh my gosh. You're gonna I, be okay. Yeah, I had never laughed as hard. But numerous of times you've been playing Cause Against Humanity or any other of the games, we make sure. Oh, the hair diaper incident this early this year. A what? <laughs> yeah. The, we'll tell That's you true. off camera this story. Lovely. And I clipped that definitely. Oh, you, you're gonna see that. But anyways, for for what just happened in round four, that. That was golden. That was golden. Okay. <laughs> Give me a place, we just won. There are two H's. We just fucking won the game. What? We're done. We're done. Give me a moment to collect. My thoughts. Ooh, that's it. Congratulations. 
Productions. Outstanding. Three. That was okay. a fun round. Let's see. Let's see how everyone's doing. You must be I a real wonder player, was. To piss on myself. Please don't do that. That's, that's just... That's <laughs> nice work, everyone. Moving on to the bonus round is our top money winner. Player one. I still one. can't fucking play with that. It's the bonus it. round. Start by picking <laughs> one of these cards, okay. and we'll see if we can't add to oh, your total. Well, I'll be good, son. You better tell me what happened. <laughs> For this puzzle, okay. the category is... Okay, bonus round. Right. Is a thing. R, S, T, L, N, and E are where you see them. Now please pick three more consonants and a vowel. Uh, tiny ass puzzle. In the N, and that's it. We gave you an N and that an was E. It. In the N. N. And an e. Oh boy. Bench. Uh, yeah, try that. Try what? Bench. B, C, A. Oh, that's what I'll be put to. What did you pick? It was the honor. You have fun. Alright, but we send you on a three week surfing safari. You'll be Hawaiian Islands. You'll ride the waves off Oahu. Isn't it the same world we just won in our game one? It was the same thing we won in our game one? This fashion prize package is for you and the companion. No, it's Happen when we play Wheel of Fortune. That's some total player one. Congratulations. Fifty two thousand five fifty. Let's just say that's a little bit of a First up, let me still get my composure. Seventy six five fifty at the fifty two five fifty at an even score of a hundred twenty nine thousand one hundred dollars. Cash in prices. Oh my god. And it's something I will clip that for the rest of my life. Oh my god. A one. A one in five chance on the map. One in five for a short puzzle like this. Oh, if that category pops up again, and if it's the same one, the same length, I would, I would actually try Tokyo Japan and see what happened. And if it's just like the way before, again, fat the quickest round. Zero ladders. <laughs> I can't fucking. I still can't fucking believe it. That just happened. <laughs> oh my gosh. And yeah, this is still the ten. This is still. I am recording. That that's a good thing. <laughs> Boise, Idaho, and no, with no, with no lettuce too. By the way. Hope you had fun. See you again. Bye bye. Oh my God. The quickest fourth round with no lettuce. Fat Jess.
Alright, so, let me get all this put away. I, I still can't believe it. Ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> this is what happened if you subscribe to my channel. Magical stuff happens on camera. Magical stuff happen on air. And there's... And these guys on Discord, let me just, and these guys on Discord just witnessed that moment. Holy crap. That's, that's wow. Oh, that would have made really good, great news. Mm -hmm. you would have, I got a call from Evelyn. <laughs> oh, yeah. You'd be asking, how do I know that? That and Jimmy Fallon will probably give you a shout out. Jimmy Kimmel, Ellen. Who else? Possibly Conan, um, Stephen Colbert. Maybe in the Meanwhile segment. Yeah. Uh, to keep more political. Yeah. James Corden. Yeah, probably anyone who doesn't. Probably someone who doesn't use political music as their humor. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's... Wow. Oh, like, that was real Fulci. Now... Oh yeah, two weeks. Next. Oh, scabooed. Pardon me, yes. Thank you, G. Mark Free. I'll see you in the next part. I mean, part. <laughs> Coming up next is week six and I'll rewind the time series in which I will be tackling Star Wars Arcade for the 32X. One of the three original lineups for the Sega 32X. For, me for mediocre reviews, it was a smash. Now the question is, will it be a smash for us? When we come back. <laughs> Welcome back. To SNR, right now, when week number six, and I'll rewind the time series, in which we are going to start off with one of the last ever efforts to keep the Genesis 16 bit war with the Super Nintendo. So the year was 1990. The year was the 90s. Let's go with the decades. The 90s, that which we are still right now. Sega and Nintendo always had this rifle thing. Nintendo released out the NES that helped save the video game crash of 1983. 1989 to saw the reference of how it became the new generation of arcades. Was a nine Sega Diva released out the Genesis. Now, the early nineties that was the Genesis. Nintendo still had its war going on. Nintendo had the edge, just beating out the Turbo Graphic sixteen, the Panasonic three D O, and Sega was feeling the heat. So. 
one least cost so was the last streak. No, one add on was last streak was the Sega CD. It worked, but it didn't fully look. Well, didn't fully worked out as it should be because it had this couple of flaws with the Sega CD. Then came out with the 32X. The year after. Now let's go about months after. After the Sega CD went on, Sega was still feeling the heat that Nintendo was going to beat them. But they was focusing on the other two companies at the time being was being the Turbo Graphics and Panasonic 3DO. But it was something that was in the eye that got him infused, and it was the Atari Jaguar. The first CD base Atari has ever done. Now, with all three, Sega was feeling the heat. So, they done with the CD out on called a Sega CD, which, like I said, it worked at the time, but. Kind of backfire on, on so many reasons that Sega had it pushed on to keep the world fans and gamers alike to play the games. So they had to think up in Vegas. So they developed the 32X. Now what is the 32X? 32-bit system with better graphics, better controllers, better music. And it would be released out during the 94-95 holiday season. So that's given Sega a year to get it out and go for the holiday rush. If not, then I'll shakes. Oh, shakes. Oh, well. Anyhow. Sega knew the 32X was going to be a help. Like a band aid. But somehow. It also kind of backfired. Well, we was expecting for the Sega CD to last as long than what the chances in, Sega and Japan already developed the new 32-bit console called the Sega Saturn. Ever to believe we were supposed to get the Saturn the same time as what Sega and Japan did. But now it kind of halt to the past with the 32X being released out. And a lot of headaches just happened. So what does that mean? A problematic Sega had to meet the deadlines for the 32X and the games. But that means, again, Sega didn't have a good chance. But we knew it was going to fail. Why? The 32X is a Y on so many levels. It's an add-on. And if you combine both the Sega Genesis, either models 1 or 2, 
Sega CD and the 32X, it doesn't look as well. Oh, another problematic. A 32X has to have another core, another power cord. That means that's now three. Power cord to the Genesis, Sega CD, and now the 32X. Uh, that's another problem. Oh, why can it not one up the Genesis power cord? Makes more sense. True. But Sega of America's like, no. But it was at the time being, Tom Kalinske knew if it was going to sell, it's going to sell out well. He had high hopes the 32X would sell. By the time the 94-95 holiday season rolls around, the 32X was a bit of a hit. But there's a lot of misses. Three games was in the lineups. Doom, Virtual Racing Deluxe, and the one I'm going to play is Star Wars Arcade. Now, out of those three, Actually, two out of the three was a good hit. Virtual Racing Deluxe and Star Wars Arcade. But Star Wars Arcade have more v more great reviews than it overlooked. Because it was by mediocre reviews saying, Oh, this game is like three dents and it's like Star Wars. It does a do well on the new 32X. But to gamers, it was a hit. And of course, it's Star Wars. Why can you say no to that? Because people love Star Wars. And it's a thing. But when it released out, we knew it was a system seller at the start. So this Sega actually knew... Star Wars Arcade was a hit. Yes, it was. But we also didn't know... And if you're all looking... I still haven't got... I haven't put on the sound yet. Let's give me more time, actually. Sega knew that the 32X was going to be a seller. But it was going to be a mess. Doom was one of them. Was doomed out. Because there was missing music and missing the levels. Doom. The Super Nintendo version of Doom was better. Tonal Carnage was so laggy, it really gives out no competitive edge to any of the fighting games. So that game was a mess. Now, the remaining of the Sega 32 games was rushed to meet the deadline, and it shows pretty much. Brutal Pause of Fury went a little bit too high on the aesthetics. Then the Sega CD was just bought on. And most of the 32X with Sega, we knew we was expect to have a Sonic game. But no. But matter of fact, we had a treat. A spinoff was called Knuckles Chaotix and pretty much... Here on SNR, I've played it and I've beaten it. Took me four, it was less, it took me about five weeks to beat. It took me four weeks to beat the game. 
So I expect a that long gameplay. Virtual Racing Deluxe happens to be also a second Smash because it was a racing game. But to the problematic of the 32X, it released still a 35 games. After that, the 32X was di discontinued. But if people bought the 32X but wanted the Saturn, then that's the problem. Because now you're telling me that I'm broke? Ouch. And guess what? Sega knew it lost its edge. But tonight, it hasn't lost this edge with Star Wars Arcade. Cause that's the game we're gonna play. Let me just... Let me everything. Whoops. <coughs> but now be asking, it developed the 32 accent pen a year we was gonna get it here in America. Whoops. A long time ago in a Admiral Akbar. This is gonna be a good one. Wipe out enemy fighters. Ta there's 15 Thai fighters in all. Got one from behind. Ah, I took two out. Parts of one, baby. God damn it! Come back here. Ha ha! I did that bad boy. One more. I got a bit. One left and time left. Wipe out enemy fighters. Twenty tie fighters left. Ooh. In the ship.
you better move. Yeah, take that. My ship's got you. Oh, you asshole. One down. to go. And there's no way I'm not going to pass on this one. I have never been so... Oh my god. Hello! my phone time. Oh man, I can't get these guys. I got him. Got one of them. <coughs> oh my. Thank you, Benji. Got him. Yeah, I got the last one by, by two seconds left. And I'm not gonna get into this. Oh no, I got 83 seconds, sorry. Mm. Oh, down to three. Got him. I didn't need to hit that button by mistake. Hello, 
coming from behind, too. Gotcha. Two left. Uh -oh. oh man. Two. One. I'm not gonna get all of them. Whew! My god. Seventeen. Fourteen. Thirteen. Twelve.
One more. Oh, look at this. I'm getting 25%. If I could get to the Death Star, then that's where I should be. But I'm not even yet close to the Death Star, so... Oops, that was right at the poor time. Hi. Nice, gotcha. I gotcha. Gotcha. Damn. Oh, I got down to the only one left. Oh, that sucks. I I done so well on this too. Twenty-five percent. Oh no, last shot too. Now, if I don't get over on this chance, uh, if I don't get any of this chance, then... Oh, bye. Thank you, Team K. The reason I said that is because on Twitter, the one hashtag that is trending is called Hashtag Why We Had Angry Sex. Oh god. <coughs> I misread that as why we had gay sex. 
Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> well then! That's it. Shoo! Made it. 61 seconds to go. Form the Imperial Death Star and wipe out enemy fighters. That's 30. Lock has paused the attack position. Oh, wow. Hey, 
to get this on the good side. We got all the way to the Death Star. Now you know the Force is with us. You has met the power of the dark side. Yes, I did. But on a good thing, we score rankings and top three. Well, four. Yeah. So that was actually of how the Sega 32X becoming of one of those. So, so we know that Star Wars Arcade was a really good hit. No wonder people in the uh, 32X was like, oh, hey, you know, it's, it's really a great hit. Mm hmm. So like I said before, all the other, all the other games were, pardon me, were always stale for the 32X. <laughs> yeah. Oops, I pooed. So. Uh, no. What do you mean no? Really? Hi. So the, so the game is like, oh yeah, that's a great game. Mm-hmm. If they know, if they can use some force, but you know what the fuck is Yoda? <laughs> Hang on. If they know that they can use some force, then the force is with us. There you go. At first, I thought you were trying to do a very bad impression of Scooby Doo. Uh huh. No. Nah. I can't do Scooby. <laughs> Actually, it's Scooby Scooby Doo! Hee! Oh, okay. Something like Phoebe Herman. Huh? Yeah, if Phoebe Herman had a baby with Yoda and your Scooby Doo sounds like a horsey. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, ho, ho, ho. Well, at least the game is not beaver the bullhead for the 32X. Ho, ho, ho. Hmm, hmm. Yeah, at least that game doesn't suck on a 32X bullhead. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, hmm. Uh, it doesn't suck. Well, actually, it will suck, because... How can you know? Uh, it sucks on the Genesis. Thank you, thank you, Abby. <laughs> oh, hey, Tony Vale. No, but seriously. With the 32X out of the market, a year later, we were supposed to get, yes, exactly, the Sega Saturn. So coming up next here on SNR is the finale and I'll be running a time segment in which it's going to be the Sega 32X when we get back. And we are back to SNR right now. This is the finale and if you are looking at the screen it is the last gameplay now. This is the last one in the Rewind in Time series to finish up week 6, in which this is going to be the Sega Saturn. Now, 
briefly go back to the Sega 32X, the 32X was discontinued around 95. So that gives Sega a shot to ramp up a 32-bit system called... You guess it, the Sega Saturn. Now, the Sega Saturn you can actually now play... Sega... CDs? No. That'd be kinda cool though. Actually, it's a Sega Saturn. It's another CD-based game. CD-based console, yeah, you can play games. Now, no, this is the fourth, uh, pardon me, this is the fifth console that Sega have ever produced. The home console that was sent Sega to help out to keep the competition going against Nintendo, but the introduction to it, the first time rival, the the Sony PS1. Now Sony first into the market in 1995 but it was the second after an actual release of uh -huh, the Virtual Boy so you got the Sega Saturn Virtual Boy and the PS1 all together in the year of 1995 So you got Saturn, Virtual Boy, and PS1. Sega, Nintendo, and then later on, Sony decides to join in and all the fun that keep the war between Nintendo and Sega at the time. Now, what happened to the TurboGrafx-16? Unfortunately, that got discontinued. Rob of the 3DO. Did that also got discontinued? Yes, indeed. Hmm. And now asking what about the Atari Jaguar? Call me crazy. But actually, don't call me crazy, because that was also discontinued. So out of that one, plus the 32X wasn't the best seller, Sega of both Japan and North America has finally again now regained forces to release out the CD-based system called the Sega Saturn. Now, Sega knew they was losing their edge against Nintendo on the, in, the, uh, in the war in the video game industry. Now, keep in, keep in mind, Nintendo, the better system, in 1995, released out more games for the Super Nintendo, but later in 1995, helped us saw the first time of a new chip called the FX chip. And the first game was released out on that one was actually Star Fox. 
Oddly enough, it was named after the Atari 2600 game, Cold Star Fox. But Nintendo had a decency. Then, the Atari. Ouch. But you can't go along with Star Fox for the Super Nintendo. But to keep things out of the ordinary, Sega knew they wanted to be back. Well, good thing, because they've been releasing out more games for the Sega Saturn than the Sega CD. But apparently, when the PS1 came out, Sega has lost more edge than the PS1 was gaining new edge and with new gamers. Now taking that gamers away from Sega, Sega knew they was in trouble. I mean, they were in trouble. Sales were down. Gamers and critics were not feeling the edge of what Sega has. <laughs> that hits more ouch than any other company. moment I fell into the fissure that the book would not be destroyed as I had planned. It continued falling into that starry expanse of which I had only a fleeting glimpse. I've tried to speculate where it might have landed. I must admit, however, such conjecture is futile. Still, questions about whose hands might one day hold my mist are unsettling to me. I know my apprehensions might never be allayed, and so I close. Realizing that perhaps the ending has not yet yet been written. Now, Miss is a point and click game. An enchanted land, enchanted land called Miss. Ooh, not bad. Direction. Okay, so I need to go straight. I 
Okay, I should flip that switch, huh? Okay, I did that. That's right. But this ridge
So that goes three. I got some espresso, huh?
doing it. So it's like that. I know this one's gonna be a major pain in here.
Eight marker searches. At two forty. Okay, so let me try this.
my way on it. You gotta remember this, by the way.
devil are you? Don't come here to Dunny. Not yet. Um, oh, I have many questions for you, my friend. As you no doubt have for me. Um... And the page? Did you bring the page? Ah, give it to me. Give me the page. Please give it the page. The p You've done the right thing. I have a difficult choice to make. free to explore at your leisure. I hope you find your explorations satisfying. You will no longer have my sons to deal with. Oh, and uh, one more favor. I am fighting a foe much greater than my sons could even imagine. At some point in the future, I may find it necessary to request your assistance. Until that point, feel free to enjoy the explorations from my library on Mist. Thank you again. The book, you can use the Mist
actually, that was actually miss. It's it's like I said, this was actually a um a puzzle based game where you have to go through to explore the islands and to solve puzzles to write out a family's past. So basically, it says learning about a family's past while doing. Ouch. Hey, we get to see a rocket ship going away. Alright. I like this one. This is a read desk or uh, error message to bring up on the Sega Saturn, so. And by the way, you're looking at this. This is pretty nifty. That's not nifty, part of me. <laughs> there was, oops, I pooed. Thank you, Colin Mockery. I mean, Ben Mockery. <laughs> Food. Thank you, Team Hockey. You should see a doctor for that. <laughs> I know, right? Now, sooner or later, you'll poop on the bed. <laughs> yeah, so that was the Sega Saturn. Now, so the Sega Saturn last out for 99, uh, 95 to 99. Oh, near enough. 98. Ouch. Only two, three years on the market. Sega knew the Saturn was ahead. But to gamers alike, it was a bitter pill to swallow. So, um, 98, 99, no, 98, Sega canceled all Sega Saturns. Ouch. Was it, or was 97? I don't know. But anyhow, Sega knew when they actually dropped the Sega Saturn out of the market, Sega knew they was in deep trouble. But 
but soon to find out. They got one more console up their sleeve to help save Sega from filing Chapter 11. The only console that can help them was the Dreamcast. To finish it up, week 9 would be to finish up the 90s with the Dreamcast. But keep in mind, week 9, Dreamcast. <sighs> but too soon, it will help Sega go for one more battle. But the question is, does the battle in the video game war help keep Sega pushing their limits to the extreme or stop, make, stop making consoles for the rest of their lives? Well, not the rest of their lives, but to stop making the consoles. Can Sega actually pull off a miracle? Who knows? When we get to the Sega Dreamcast, we will find out. So that will conclude night 476 of SNR. Now, two weeks time. When we do Game 4 of Real Second Edition, we will be on Week 7 in our Rewind the Time series, in which we are going to be in half of the weeks in our Rewind the Time series. Holy crap. We're going to be in Week Time, so we're going to be entering our, to end our half of Week, the first half, weeks and all, we run the time series, and to start off the second half. Sorry, I haven't been here in a while. I was watching Mazzine play Halo, and I have a really soft spot for that game. <laughs> mm. I'm surprised I stayed awake for this whole thing. Uh, me too. <laughs> And that won't be until week 10. That won't be until Who, week 10, because that's the Who Xbox. dropped the guitar? Jap. No, that was that was my microphone stand and the spring that made a funny noise. Cool. That's dropping a guitar. Gotcha. <laughs> there you go. Hey. Uh... Yeah, two weeks time to wrap up first half, start of May, Virtual Boy. <coughs> oh, God. Uh, the first time we're going to see Red and Black. You're not going to get the real experience, though, because it's an emulator, right? Um... It's the real, with the real Virtual Boy, you put your face right up to that thing. That's gonna cost a lot of ice train. <laughs> but for the first time, that's gonna be seen up on screen, though. Yeah. That's gonna be it's odd. Like, why is my, like, why is my video game bleeding? <laughs> <laughs> why? why? That's so, not your video game. Why is it all bleeding and bruised? Yeah. Looks like a murder scene. <laughs> Yeah, that we will find out. And then we'll be doing the PS1 after that. 
But next Saturday night will be our end Saturday Friday. On night four seventy seven, we're gonna be tackling another new course. It's not a new course, it's a new map course and we're all gonna be experiencing it for the first time. Oh Jesus. Christ help us. <laughs> Can he really help now, though? Uh, well, it's after Easter. He's risen, so I guess so. Okay. That's what they tell me, anyway. <laughs> hmm. <sighs> so, yeah. So yeah, so next week we're gonna do go for friends. So I will make sure I have to get with the rest of the others for next week to join in. Actually, that except for one. Be except for one because one's computer is out of commission. But we're still in hopes to have a return, so that's a plus. <clears throat> but still, hopes to come back and we can all have fun. So next week's night episode fast now will be good friends and we're playing since this is a Friday, and Saturday Friday we'll be playing a couple more games that we will have fun. What are the games? We don't know. So tune in next week to find out. As always, here on us now, we would like to thank the guys for being part of it and helping out. I'm still awake. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We of course like to thank you all for watching. Don't forget here is on the channel is like, comment, favorite, sub, sub to the guys as well. I haven't posted a watchable video in two years. <laughs> Mine was four years ago. <laughs> don't sub. But we'll uh, just sub the, just uh, sub the I don't. I don't know. I don't know about we, but I. I'll be back into something, you know, eventually. Hopefully this summer. Mm -hmm. Or check these guys out as well. Yeah. I'm boring. <laughs> You'll find, yeah, uh, uh, we'll, we'll do better on live streams than we will on pre recorded shit. Yeah. <laughs> Anywho. Yeah. Oh, don't forget, if you also subscribe to the channel, don't forget to ring the bell for new notification. Ding, ding, ding! On a new upload. Yes. Because YouTube's system is fucked, and if you don't ring the bell, you won't get notifications for shit. Uh. <sighs> so please ring the bell. Uh, don't forget to follow us on social media. So don't forget to follow this. Channel's Twitter page as I post videos. As not videos, notifications, updates, and when I'm be available to do Twitch streams. So all the notifications will be in my Twitter page. My channel Twitter page. <laughs> Well, you got, you really had to have your last word out. Yeah. It was, it was agreement. No. The, the pussy has spoken. 
and I misheard Ben saying tit dream. <laughs> tit dream. You need your ears to check, bro. Yeah. Either that or I'm really sleepy. Mm. Yeah, I think we'll <coughs> starting to feel that way too. Hey, I'm the one with the latest time zone here. I don't know. It's almost two thirty. I, 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 I just found this out. All four continental time zones are represented in this chat right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I represent Eastern, East, Central, Central. Mountain, Pacific. Yeah. <laughs> wow. This is what we should do on the New Year so we could bring it in in all time zone. <laughs> I know, right? We're usually pretty good at that. And I'm like, I'm the last one to help. No. No. If you count Matt, that's fine. Matthew, yeah, he's the last one. He's the last uh, one. He's usually, he's usually not around. Yeah. And if not, then I'm the last one because I'm in the Pacific. <clears throat> hey, stay Pacific, folks. Mm. <laughs> best coast, they call it. The best coast time. We'll see about that. All right, back to my thing. Oh, if you like this or any other pebbles, <laughs> or any other pebbles. No, I only, I only like one pebbles. If I prefer like... Pebbles Flintstone. Oh, please. <laughs> How is that to that? How rude. Thank you, Chef Sweden. I still have something stuck in my teeth that I've had for the last couple of hours in there. I want to put your fingernail in it. Um, I've cut my nails recently, so that won't work. Do it anyway. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> and it didn't work. Well, uh, head to the bathroom and just floss it out. And there you go. Uh, I don't feel like moving. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You sound like me. If Jeff actually came out of the closet as a gay man. <laughs> I... Actually, that's true, by the it's way. Not, it's not gay, it's bi. Yeah, it's bi. Oh. And welcome to the uh, well, welcome to the club. Well, the reason I said that is because Alan is actually gay himself. I had no idea. That, that's pretty much true, ladies and gentlemen. That's a story for another time, though. Yeah. Anywho, moving on. Uh, Playlist will be on my channel. Let's see. Yeah, one through, yeah. One through nine. <laughs> Top left corner, no. Actually, well, I'll have to move this one. Top right corner, don't forget to subscribe. Bottom right, that's why I'm gonna give you the link for my season 10 playlist. So you won't miss a beat on current episodes. So that's where we're all gonna go, top and bottom. Don't forget about that. Uh, what else? What else? I think that's it. Oh. Next Sunday, I will be streaming. On what game? I don't know. It will be on Twitch. Because it's normally going to be on in Sunday chill streams. Chill stream. What it is. A mystery game. <laughs> Mystery game plus Clue. Well, Clue will go last. And when we do Clue, I want to make sure if you have to get on a Switch, we will all show you how to play Clue. I have a Switch. <laughs> yeah. But I have to pay twenty nine ninety nine to buy Clue. <laughs> there you go. Not as if I spent enough money as it is already. <laughs> What's another twenty nine ninety nine gonna do to me? There's also a smartphone version. 
That's true, but smartphone versions are not. Just why not save for that twenty nine ninety nine one? Somebody cash at me twenty nine ninety nine. I'll buy it. <laughs> Gambling again. Yes. There you go. All right, for these guys, Benin Silver Twelve Eight Seven. There we go. Signing off. Bye. <laughs> Good way to put it.